गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स ओके नाउ वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग द लेक्चर ऑफ इम्पैक्ट ऑफ जेट ऑन मूविंग कर्ड प्लेट ओके व्हेन द जेट स्ट्राइक्स टेंजेंशियली एट वन टिप एंड लीव्स एट द अदर ओके नाउ इन दिस केस ओके वी सॉ द डायग्राम हियर दिस इज द पाइप व्हिच हैज अ नोजल अटैच्ड टू इट्स वन एंड फ्रॉम द नोजल अ जेट कम्स आउट व्हिच स्ट्राइक्स द moving curved plate tangentially at the inlet tip at one end and it comes out of the outlet tip okay at the other end okay we saw the abbreviations okay v1 v2 u1 u2 vr1 vr2 we saw this abbreviations what is v1 v2 it is the absolute velocity at Uh, inlet and outlet respectively u1 u2 is the velocity of the moving plate at inlet and outlet vr1 and vr2 are relative velocities at inlet and outlet now we will see vf1 and vf2 and vw1 and vw2 okay so now we saw this inlet velocity triangle and outlet velocity triangle and i said in this lecture in the continuation of this lecture now we are going to draw the inlet velocity triangle and outlet velocity triangle but before we start drawing these two triangles there are some important points to be noted those are first all angles are measured with the direction of motion of vane okay that is okay all angles that is alpha theta phi and beta these four angles are measured with respect to the direction of motion of vane direction of motion of vane is direction of motion of the moving plate that is the x direction that means alpha theta phi and beta are angles which are measured with respect to the x direction okay next the velocity of whirl is the component of the absolute velocity in the direction of motion okay velocity of whirl is the component of the absolute velocity in the direction of motion okay now direction of motion is the x direction okay so uh, first we will see at the inlet tip vw1 this is the velocity of whirl and v1 it is the absolute velocity at the inlet so vw1 or velocity of whirl is the component of v1 that is absolute velocity at inlet tip in the direction of motion that is in the x direction similarly if you see at the outlet tip this is w vw2 that is velocity of whirl at outlet and v2 is the velo absolute velocity at the outlet so vw2 is the component of v2 absolute velocity at the outlet in the direction of motion of uh, plate that is in the x direction okay similarly next we'll see the velocity of flow is the component of the absolute velocity normal to the direction of motion okay now x direction is the direction of motion normal to the direction of motion is the y direction so in the at the inlet we'll, we can see that vf1 that is the ve velocity of flow at inlet okay now vf1 is the component of absolute velocity v1 opposite or uh, sorry perpendicular or normal to the direction of motion okay similarly at outlet vf2 okay this is vf2 it is the component of absolute velocity v2 vf2 is velocity of flow at outlet it is the component of absolute velocity perpendicular to the direction of motion that is the perpendicular to the direction of x or x direction okay so these are the important points which we had to consider now okay now this triangle a b d and b dash c dash d dash now a b d this is the velocity triangle at inlet and b dash c dash d dash is the velocity triangle at the outlet okay 
So, ABD and B dash C D dash are called inlet and outlet velocity triangle, which are drawn as follows. Now we'll see how they are drawn. First, we'll see the inlet velocity triangle, how it is drawn. Okay. Now we are at inlet velocity triangle. We have to take any point A and draw a line AB is equal to V1. Now, this line A from A we have to draw a line up to B, which represents V1. in magnitude now this is v1 is the absolute velocity of the jet so this line represents the direction of the jet which comes out of the pipe okay now this uh, ab line that is v1 makes an angle alpha makes an angle alpha with the horizontal line ad we'll draw a horizontal line this is the horizontal line ad so this line ab makes an angle alpha with the horizontal line ad okay so this angle is alpha next we'll draw a line ac is equal to u1 okay this is ac this line is ac will its value is u1 now what is u1 it is the velocity of the plate in the direction of motion okay now we will join next is we will join c to b okay now cb then represents the relative velocity pr1 of the jet at the inlet so this line cb represents vr1 this is absolute velocity v1 this is velocity of the plate moving plate u1 and this is the relative velocity with which the jet strikes the moving plate at inlet okay now if the loss of energy due to impact is zero then cb must be in the tangential direction to the vane at inlet so this cb uh, relative velocity this line is in the tangential direction to the vane at the inlet vane that is the moving plate okay now from b draw a perpendicular bd from b draw a perpendicular bd meeting the horizontal line ac produced at d from b i will draw a perpendicular p meeting the horizontal line ac at which is produced at d okay then bd represents the velocity of flow at inlet vf1 and cd and ad ad from a to d this whole line represents the velocity of oil vw1 now vw1 and vf1 they are both the components of absolute velocity v1 okay that is the important point to remember next angle bcd is equal to theta which is the vane angle at the inlet okay this theta is the vane angle at the inlet okay because this uh, bc line is tangential to the vane or the moving plate important point to remember whenever we see whenever we say vane it means the moving curved plate okay so next we'll see the we'll draw the outlet velocity triangle okay now if the vane surface is smooth the energy loss due to friction will be zero and thus if the jet enters the uh, plate with a relative velocity vr1 it will come out with the relative velocity vr2 and vr1 will be equal to vr2 okay now draw b dash c dash in the tangential direction of the vane at outlet and put p dash c dash is equal to vr2 okay from b dash i have drawn a line to c dash and let i have put b dash c dash is equal to vr2 okay from c dash okay i have drawn i will draw a line c dash a dash in the direction of vane that is in the direction of the moving plate okay in the x direction and equal to u2 this c dash a dash is in the direction of the moving plate that is in the x direction and it is equal to u2 okay w what is u2 it is the velocity of the moving plate at the outlet okay velocity of vane at the outlet now join b dash 
a dash. We will join b dash to a dash, and this b dash a dash represents the absolute velocity of the jet v2 at the outlet in magnitude and direction. Now from b dash, I will draw a perpendicular b dash d dash to meet the line c dash a dash. Okay. Now from b dash, I have drawn a line, drawn a perpendicular to meet the line c dash a dash at d dash. Okay. Then b dash d dash represents the velocity of flow v f two and a dash d dash. A dash d dash represents the velocity of whirl v w t at the outlet respectively. Now, phi is equal to angle of the vane at outlet, and beta is equal to angle made by absolute velocity v2 with the x direction or the direction of motion of vane at the outlet. Okay, so here we have seen how to draw the inlet velocity triangle and outlet velocity triangle. Okay, next we will see. If the vane is smooth and having velocity in the direction of motion at inlet and outlet equal, then u1 is equal to u2 is equal to u. That means, okay. Now this at inlet the velocity of plate is u1. At outlet velocity of the plate is u2. But this is the same plate. It is a homogeneous single plate. So the velocity of plate overall will be same. Okay. Whether we measure the velocity at inlet or at outlet, the velocity of plate is a solid object. So the velocity of plate at every point will be same. So if it is u1 at the inlet point, u2 at the outlet point, it will both be same. u1 will be equal to u2, which will be equal to u, or the velocity of plate in the direction of jet. And we have seen that v r1 is equal to v r2. Where we have seen that. Okay, this line. If the vane surface is assumed smooth, the energy lost due to friction will be zero, and thus V R one will be equal to V R two. Okay, these two points will consider the mass of water striking the plate per second is equal to rho a V R one. Okay, it is rho a V R one that we will see in the next lecture.